Hello everyone, this is James here, and today I'm going to show you some PowerPoint tricks for getting your audience to look where you want them to look. Specifically, I'm going to talk about using labels, using circles, using highlights, and using scribbles. These are simple techniques which I use in most of my PowerPoint presentations and which I use in many of these videos here. So let's take a look at how to make labels. So first click on Insert, then click on Text Box, and I'm going to make my label here. So I'm going to, and I'm going to type in using labels. I would make the font size at least font size 24. That's my minimum font size. Um, for this one, I'm going to do font size 32. The other thing I'll do for this label is I'll center it inside the box. Um, I'd like to, maybe on this one, I'm going to rotate it slightly. Um, now I'm going to click on drawing tools and click on shape fill and I'll just choose a color and I'll choose my text fill maybe white for the text one other thing which I might like to do is add a shadow so I can go shape effects click on shadow and then I can create a shadow so my labels looking good I think now I need my line and I'm so I'm gonna click on insert and I'm gonna go to shapes and I'm gonna choose a line here so arrow and I'm going to just draw my line now uh, the next thing which I want to do is I'm going to change the shape outline so I want the same color as the shape fill on the box so I've changed the shape outline to red which is the same color as the box I think the shape the arrow is too thin so I'm going to go down and I'm going to change the weight and I'm going to change the weight to 6 and there I've got a label now you'll just notice if my label is in front it can it would block the text you see how it blocks the letter G there so one thing which you can do is you can go to drawing tools right and then you can see uh, send backward you can click on that and you can click send backward which would be back one layer or send to back uh, and now my label is actually behind the box my arrow okay um, so I'm going to keep these as two separate objects. So now that the key point is to animate this. So first click on animations. Then you want to uh, click on animation pane. I want to have the animation pane open. So first I'm going to click on the, the box. And the animation which I like to use for this, and I always click add animation, and the animation I like to use is appear because it's very fast. It doesn't take any time. Now for the arrow, the animation which I like to use is wipe. So I'm going to click on add animation, wipe. But I want this to go in the same direction from the label down. So I'm going to change it from top. So it's going to go like that. Um, so now you'll see what this looks like. So I click on it, that comes up, and now my arrow comes down. Now the next thing which I want to do is I want it just to be one click so I'm going to click on on the second animation on the animation pane and I want to click on start after previous so that should be just one so it just comes out so that's how you make labels so now let's talk about using circles so to make this circle I'm going to go to insert then I'm going to go to shapes and then I'm going to choose a circle. I could choose a circle or I could scribble a circle. Um, but for this one, I'll just use a circle. And I'm going to just draw the circle clicking down on my mouse and just draw over it. And now I've got a circle. Now this circle, the fill is blue. I want to make that uh, fill transparent. So I'm going to click up here and I'm going to go to shape fill. And I'm not going to choose any of the colors. I'm going to go right to this box here, which says no fill. And I'm going to click on no fill. Now I want to change the color and maybe my shape outline. I'm going to choose another color. Maybe I'll choose green. Okay. Uh, so now my line is green. I don't like the uh, thickness of the line. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to choose weight and I'll go six points. So there I've got my circle the way I want. Now what I want to do is I want to animate it. So again, I would click on animations. Make sure your animation pane is open. If not, you can click on animation pane there. The animation which I like to use is wheel. So go to add animation and then click on wheel. And it's going to draw kind of a circle. Now, if you take a look at this, 
it's taking two seconds to draw that circle. I feel like that's too slow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the duration. And I think for me, 0.5 seconds, half a second is enough. So here we go, let's see. And that's all it is to doing a circle. So let's move on to using highlights. So I'm gonna go up to insert, and then I'm gonna click on shapes, and then I'm gonna draw a rectangle. So I'm gonna just draw a rectangle over the text that I wanna highlight. Now again, you can see that this is opaque, uh, and I wanna change the transparency of this box. So I'm gonna right click on the box, and it says format shape. So now I'm gonna click format shape. And this uh, extra pane opens here on the side here. So what I'm gonna click on is I'm gonna click on fill. And right now it says solid fill, and it says transparency here. What I wanna do is I wanna change the transparency. And you see as I change the transparency, look at the text over here uh, that you can gradually see the words behind as I go back and forth. And what you just need to do is decide how light the blue you want. So I think that's about right. Uh, so 72%, that looks good to me. Um, now the one other thing which I want to do is I want to get rid of the, the shape outline. Right now there's a blue line around the text. So I'm going to get rid of that. So go up to shape outline up here. And then it says no outline in the box right there. Click on that. Okay, so now I've highlighted it. Now, now I'm going to animate it. So click on that box there. And we're going to animate that. So make sure the animation pane is open. Click on animations. The animation which I like to use is wipe. So right now it's wiping up from the bottom. Um, I would change this to wipe from the left. Uh, and you can see what that looks like. If you wipe from the left, it looks like you're using a highlighter pen. Um, so anyways, that's all there is to using highlights. So the last technique I'm going to show you today is using scribbles. Um, so I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to go to shapes. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use this one which is called scribble. And I'm going to just draw a line. So in one direction. Okay, and that's one line. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go insert. Then I'm going to use shapes. Then I'm going to do scribble. And what I like to do is think that my last line ended here. So I'm going to start there and I'm going to go back in the other direction. Now I'm going to do it again. So this time insert, shapes, and then scribble. And I'm going to start here because that's where I ended last time. And I'm going to go back. I didn't like that one because you see how I uh, made a little bit of a curb. That's not going to look good in my animation. So I'm actually going to delete this one and I'm going to do it one more time. So insert, shapes, oops, insert, shapes, and scribble. So you want your line just to go one direction, left to right. I mean, you can also do this up to down, but it should just be one direction. And now my last one, I'm going to go and do one more time, insert, shapes, and I'm gonna do a scribble, and I'm gonna start over here, and I'm gonna go back, and that's it. So you can almost see like a pen is going back and forth across here. So now the one thing which I wanna do is I wanna change the line color. I'm gonna select all of them and do all the line colors at the same time. So it says shape outline. I'm gonna choose my color, maybe a bright red, and I'm gonna also uh, change the weight. So I'm gonna click weight. And I think uh, four and a half is too thick. I think three point looks good. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna animate this. And I'm gonna animate it one at a time. So I'm gonna first do the top line, the first line I drew. And I'm gonna go to animations. And I'm gonna click add animation. And I'm gonna do wipe. And I want the animation from left. Now I'm going to do the second line. That's the second line I drew. So I'm going to click Add Animation, Wipe. Now this time I want it to go from the right so it's going backwards. And this one here is the third line I drew. I'm going to click Add Animation, Wipe. And this one is going from the left. 
just imagine that your pen, which direction would it be going with your pen? Uh, now I'm going to go at the last line, add animation, wipe. And this one here is from the right. So now you can see that I've got four animations in my animation pane. If you see, so I click once, it goes that way. I click again, it goes that way. I click again, it goes that way. I click again, it goes that way. So you can see that I've got a bit of a scribble there. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I am going to, uh, I, do, I want it one click everything. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to go start after previous. And then again, start after previous. Start after previous. And the other thing is you can change the timing of some of these. So I think this last line is really short. So I think it takes less time. So I might do 0.25 seconds for that last line. And let's see what that looks like. So here we go. And there. Now I think actually all of my lines seem too slow to me. So I'm going to do this one as 0.25 seconds. 0.25 and 0.25. And maybe this last one, I'm going to do point 0.1, so even shorter. And let's see what that looks like. So you can adjust the timing. And here we go. So now that looks much better to me. Let me conclude by showing you one last trick. I created four different animations on four different slides. So here's my slide on using scribbles. Here's my slide on using highlights. And here's for using circles. And here's for using labels. I can actually combine all of these objects onto one slide. And when you copy and paste an object, you not only copy and paste the object, you're also copying and pasting the animation. So if I take this object and I'm going to press Control C, and I'm going to go to this one, which was my original one, and I'm going to press Control V, it copies in exactly the right place. And you can see this is now going to be animation number two. Now I can go to my next one, which is the highlights. I can click on that, control C. I'm going to go back to that slide and I'm going to put it. It goes in the, almost the right place. It seems to be a little different, but I'm going to move it. And there we go. Uh, but it's copied not only the object, but also the animation. And the last one was this one, the scribbles. So I'm going to go over top of all of them and I'm going to click control C and then I'm going to put it up here, and there we go. So now, when I play this, all of the animations are on one slide, and they're all going to appear in order. So today I've shown you PowerPoint tricks for getting your audience to look where you want them to look. I showed you about using labels, using circles, using highlights, and using scribbles.